on everybody? It's Morton here and I'm here to bring you paranormal news from around the world. Tonight's video is a woman who was charged with scamming one woman over $71,000 in order to exercise her daughter who has a demon. Now let's take a look at the news clip and we'll talk about it some more once this clip is done and over with. So, hope you guys will enjoy. Well, perhaps given her profession, she should have seen this coming. A palm reader is now accused of swindling a woman out of thousands of dollars. The Somerset psychic allegedly insisted the client's daughter was possessed by a demon and only a clairvoyant cleansing for a fee could save her. As Christina Rex shows us, fellow mediums say this is giving the paranormal practice a bad name. Inside this Somerset business is where police say a fraudulent psychic swindled a local woman out of $71,000. Over the course of a month... Within one month, she scammed $71,000 out of this other woman? Holy shit. That's a lot of fucking money. Well, let's get back to the story. They say Tracy Milanovic requested large payments and household items in exchange for ridding the customer's 10-year-old daughter of demons. According to the police report, Miss Tracy read the woman's cards and told the victim that she was dead in God's eyes and that her daughter had something inside of her that was bad. So I'm a little confused. Um, I didn't know tarot cards could be so vague that the woman would say that this woman is dead in God's eyes. Like... What fucking card did she pull out that said, you're dead in God's eyes? Like, what the fuck? At one point, police say the victim purchased a Barbie doll, white trash bag, and 10 rolls of Bounty brand paper towels and brought a white box, a picture of her daughter, a sonogram photograph. Miss Tracy told her she was going to take the demon from her daughter and place it in the Barbie doll. Milanovic faces several charges and already pleaded not guilty. The open sign was on at her business Thursday night. But the door was locked and there was no answer. It makes the rest of us look bad. We're doing this to help people. Lori Belche owns Enlightenings and does readings just a quarter mile down the road. She charges $50 for a 30 minute session. I, I find it funny that this other psychic scammer is claiming there's so many red flags. I only charge $50 for 30 minutes. Your minimum wage fucking job, you get $10 an hour. Hell, fucking, what is it, waitresses and waiters? They get $4 an hour, and you're expecting $50 for 30 minutes? Yeah, that sounds scam, scam 100% to me. Look, if I heard the number $1,000, I'd be going, red flag, run away. She believes there were several red flags, and that both the woman paying and the so-called psychic should have known better. There are people who are desperate for an answer, and... For someone who calls themselves a medium or a card reader or a psychic, you shouldn't be taking advantage either. If you had a similar experience at this location, Somerset police ask that you call them. In Somerset, Christina Rex, WBZ News. As of today, do you know what the number of proven psychic cases actually are? This, there's actually a account. Zero. Not one person in the history of mankind has been able to prove they have psychic abilities. There's a foundation called the James Randi Foundation, which offers $1 million for anyone who can prove that they have psychic powers. Not only just psychic mind reading powers, we got ESP, mental telepathy, uh, astral projection, anything. And none have been able to pass the test. Not only that, there's another foundation, I think it's in Mexico, from a college that offers $1 million to anyone under these certain standards, they got to be tested, obviously, and tested properly. And once they are tested properly, not one can do it. That's so interesting. So, that is your fact of the day. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like the video, share the video with your friends, and subscribe. Because every Thursday, I am posting new videos. And sometimes I post even more videos. So, I hope I will see you guys next time.